Today we're going to learn how to add data to our Dumpling AI knowledge base using make.com. Gathering data for a knowledge base of any kind is a time-consuming endeavor, even more so if there's simply too much of that data floating around. You don't have to do it manually. We're going to show you how to automate this entire process in make.com and storing our newly gathered data in our Dumpling AI knowledge base. The first thing we're going to do is add a Dumpling AI module, and our action is going to be the search Google action. This is where we'll be searching for information for our knowledge base. For this example, we're looking to build a knowledge base on DeepSeek. So we're going to be searching for DeepSeek articles. We want results relevant to the US. We want our results in English. And we want our date range to be for this past year. For this demonstration, we'll limit our results to just five. We're going to add another Dumpling AI module, and our action is going to be the scrape URL action. We're going to be scraping the URL links from our previous module for our knowledge base later on. Lastly, we're going to add our final Dumpling AI module, and our action is going to be the add to knowledge base action. Before we continue, we're going to take a quick detour and hop on over to our Dumpling AI dashboard and into the knowledge base section. This is where we'll set up our knowledge base, and what's really interesting is that we can save documents or texts here, and in future videos, we're going to show you how you can pull information from your knowledge base and use it anywhere else. But for now, we're just going to create a knowledge base for DeepSeek and copy our knowledge base ID for our make.com scenario. Our resource name is going to be the title of our articles, and our content is going to be the scraped content from our previous module. Let's run our scenario. And just to recap, we're searching Google for data for our knowledge base. We're going to scrape each and every article from our Google search, and we're going to save that scraped data to our knowledge base in Dumpling AI. Let's wait for our results and see what we get. Our scenario has been successful. Let's hop on over to Dumpling AI and refresh our page. As you can see, our knowledge base is now filled with information on DeepSeek. For our use case, we collected data from Google Search, but this entire process can be done with various kinds of documents stored in Google Drive, Dropbox, or even in a sheet. That's a topic we'll cover in another video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.